It is time now for GMA Show Me the Money, and we're helping people find money they didn't even know they lost. On Thursday, Gio Benitez helped reunite baseball fans in Chicago with more than $9,000. So, Gio, tell us where you are now. Oh, Amy, what a great morning. We are at the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia, their care box, pediatric care center. Joe Torcello is here. He's the state treasurer here in Pennsylvania. And you've got a check, but we're going to keep the suspense a little bit because tell us a little bit about unclaimed money. How does this money end up missing? Sure. In the last year alone, we gathered more than $400 million wow. in unclaimed funds owed to businesses and individuals. And it, in the hospital's case, it went missing for reasons we see every day. A check was mailed to the wrong address or sent to a bank that emerged. Happens so often. And that one in ten Pennsylvanians has unclaimed property with the Treasury. Something as simple as a wrong address. As simple as that. Unbelievable. Amy, you have a little bit more on this secret, so let's take it over. That's right. We have a big surprise coming up, Gio. The hospital knows it's getting some money, but they're going to surprise some folks in Philly as well because they're earmarking all that money for a very special cause. And Gio is going to let you in on the secret first, so take a look. Glasses. As students from W.C. Longstreth Elementary in Philadelphia file in. You all are here to have a life-changing experience. When I heard that we was going to an assembly, I got excited. They realize this is no ordinary assembly. <laughs> this 3D interactive movie called Free to Be is actually at the forefront of teaching children how to stop bullying before it starts. There's really nothing like it. It blends best practice science with the latest in technology to engage children where they're at. It's the centerpiece of the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia's Violence Prevention Initiative, giving students the power to change the conversation. I will stand up to the bully and tell them to stop. The program that's already making a difference has the potential to do even more. The students are seeing they are the ones that can create a safe environment by being leaders. If I found out that there was more funding for this program, I would be ecstatic. I would shout it from the rooftop. So let's shout from the rooftop right now. Here we have all the students and staff from that particular program, that amazing program. Madeline Bell, she's the CEO of the hospital here, and we've got that big surprise. You're about to give all of that money, all of it, to that program. So why don't we turn it over to the kids? Kids, why don't you show us how much money we're talking about? Flip those cards! More than $91,000. Look how excited they are. Madeline, why did you decide to do this? Well, at Children's Hospital of Philadelphia, we treat victims of violence every day. So we decided to put this money towards our violence prevention initiative, supporting our schools in Philadelphia. Just unbelievable. I mean, it's such an important program. We see what it means to all of these kids, what it means to the teachers. Uh, principal. Yes, this is awesome. This is great. <laughs> we can't wait. You're excited. You yes. weren't expecting that much money, at were you? No, not at all. <laughs> and we got the state treasurer we here. Anything. <laughs> you weren't expecting anything. <laughs> not even a little bit. They gave it all. Here's the check right here. More than ninety-one thousand dollars. Wow, amazing. This was all lost. You had no idea. Did you even know where it came from? No, it's like having a lottery ticket, not knowing it. <laughs> <laughs> and, and now we have it. So ninety-one thousand dollars. Thank you so much. You're excited. 